Now you will learn how to set up two-factor authentication on the Crypto.com app. I will show you what is two-factor authentication, also known as 2FA. What are the benefits of using it? How you can solve typical challenges that beginners face? And how to navigate the Crypto.com app after enabling 2FA. If you don't have the Crypto.com app yet, I will leave your link in the description right here below the video so you can get started with the official app right away. If you are a beginner, you might be asking what is 2-factor authentication or 2FA? It's an extra layer of security. Your account password is the first layer of security and this is the second layer. You can think of it like this. Your password is the first lock to your door and then 2FA is kind of like a second lock to your door. So now if a thief would want to come in, he would need to unlock both of those locks, password and two-factor authentication to access your funds. Two-factor authentication gives you a new code every 30 seconds, so it may be harder to hack for hackers comparing to a password. Let me show where you can find the two-factor authentication settings on the Crypto.com app. First, you open the app. Second, you click these three lines here on the top. Then you scroll down right here and click settings. Then you click here security and you choose here two-factor authentication. On this page, you will also find this learn more about 2FA. And here you have an official article from the crypto.com where they explain even more what is 2FA, how does it work and much more. At this point, you will need to choose a 2FA app to set up with crypto.com. And here you can see that please note that we are supporting various authenticators. You can still use any other authenticators like Google Authenticator or other ones. But here's what they recommend. They say there's a great authenticator app we would like to recommend to you. Authy for Android, Twilio Authy for iOS or iPhone. You can also use other ones as they mentioned here. Use any other authenticators like Google Authenticator, for example. So I believe Microsoft Authenticator, for example, should be fine as well. Here is, for example, the Twilio Authy Authenticator that you can use. That's what they recommend. Google Authenticator is also ultra popular one, more than 100 million downloads. Microsoft Authenticator also has 100 million downloads and it's extremely popular. There are many options that you can choose from, but if you want to follow their recommendation, then you use this Authy. When you are setting it up for the first time, you will click here Enable 2FA. Then it will show you something like this. So a QR code that you can scan with your phone and also a secret key. So you can choose which one you use. If you are using only one phone for this process, then it's usually easier to use the secret key, as I will explain more in a moment. You simply click here to copy this code and you paste it to your Authenticator app, for example, or the Google Authenticator or other one, and you save the account into your Authenticator. It will start generating these six digit codes, as you can see here in an example. You go back to crypto.com app and you click there continue and then you copy paste the 60 digit code from your authenticator app to crypto.com to verify that it's working. Keep in mind that you always have 30 seconds time to copy paste it because there will be a timer as you can see here in an example and once this timer goes to zero then you would need to get a new code so you need to be relatively fast when copy pasting the code. Once you have verified the code, the two-factor authentication is active. Let's go through three challenges that beginners face and how you can solve them. I have also faced some of these challenges myself, so I know the solutions. The first challenge that beginners may be facing that they are thinking, hey, how can I get this QR code? Because I'm using the same phone, I cannot get the second phone to scan it. And here is what you should do, as I mentioned earlier, you simply copy paste the secret key from your crypto.com to your authenticator. So you don't even need the QR code. You can choose which one you use, QR code or the secret key. 
a lot of people have said that they have set up the Google Authenticator correctly. They are copy pasting the correct code within 60 seconds, but the app says, hey, you gave a wrong code. What should you do? The most typical mistake is that you are simply doing it too slowly. So you need to do it within 30 seconds. However, there is also another popular error, which is having a wrong time on your phone. If your phone is not on the correct time, then even if you copy paste the code, it may still give an error. So I would recommend that you set a correct time on your phone. You can go for example on Google, how to set up correct time. Let's say that you are using iPhone 13 for example. Then you take a look at the instructions and you move forward. Or let's say that you are using a Samsung phone. Again, how to set the correct time on Samsung phone. You go through the instructions and then you set it up correctly. And after that, when you set up those six digits, they should go through on the Crypto.com app. Another mistake that some beginners make is that they have multiple different accounts within the same authenticator and then they copy paste the wrong code. For example, you are using another crypto app as well and then you copy paste that one into your crypto.com. Then of course it doesn't work if you are not copy pasting the right code. However, the most typical challenge that I have seen people facing is losing access to two-factor authentication codes. And if you are saying, hey, this would never happen to me, you may be surprised how common this is. For example, if you lose your phone or your phone gets damaged, for example, after it gets wet during the rain, or you update your phone, but you forget to put two-factor authentication to your new phone. And there are also endless other reasons for losing the access. And one way how you can tackle it is having a backup. Many of these authenticator apps, they give you a chance to put a cloud backup. There will be a sign something like this, and then it's backed up on the cloud. Another way is also having a backup device, for example, a second phone or some tablet device and you set up the two-factor authentication also on that device. Now, if you lose your primary phone, you still have the cloud backup or the backup device. However, keep in mind that if somebody gets access to your backups, they may be able to access your account if they also have your email address and the password. So if you back up your two-factor authentication, keep your backups safe. After you have set up two-factor authentication on Crypto.com app, you probably want to learn how to use other great features on this app as well. For example, trading, Crypto.com reward section, including the Crypto.com Visa card, rewards plus, campaigns, missions, and much more. If you want to learn to use all the great features on this app, I have created for you a dedicated playlist where I will show you step by step how to use Crypto.com app even as a complete beginner. You can simply take one of your fingers right now, click right here in the corner and learn to use Crypto.com app like a pro.